Here we are in Grimsby, and here we are at Grimsby Fish Docks. They've had a £1.2 million investment to upgrade the facilities here. Let's find out what that means, both to Iceland and the Humber, and we'll speak to some of the key players, Ian Whitting, the ambassador to Iceland, and Austin Mitchell, MP. I'm with Steve Norton today, the Chief Executive for the Fish Merchants Association in Grimsby. £1.2 million has been spent, Steve, on this modernisation of Grimsby uh, docks here. Just tell us what's happened and how it's come about. Well, today's the culmination of probably four years hard work. Um, the FMA has worked very closely with, with Martin Boyers, who is the chief executive of the, of the fish market uh, company. And what has happened, in fact, we've transformed what was a very large, if you like, warehouse type building into a bespoke, fit for purpose auction hall, or in fact, three auction halls for the, uh, for the handling predominantly of Icelandic fish. Um, we've got full integrity through the supply chain, so when the fish arrives in the containers, uh, nicely chilled, we can retain that, that chill in, in the new environment. Uh, we've got the, the Morel uh, grading equipment, which of course is, is Icelandic kit, and we recognise that to be world class. And we think that this actually will be an extension of the infrastructure for the handling and sale of Icelandic fish in the UK. Martin, there's been a substantial amount of work to improve the facility here. Just tell us what's been done. Well, we've had to uh, bring ourselves up to modern requirements and standards that are expected by the multiple retailers. And we have to recognise that most of the fish consumed in the UK goes through multiple retailers. Therefore, there's a, a large number of buyers on the market that are supplying these people. So we need to make sure that effectively our customers are happy and their customers are happy. Now, Atlantic Fresh um, supplies some 80% of the white fish market to the UK. Yeah. So what does, what does that mean to you as, as a company? Well, it means a lot. Obviously, we are a very big supplier into the market and into the fresh fish markets. But uh, also to be able to grow from a facility like this, we need to have the right standards. We need to have the BRC accreditations and also, also have a, be credible to our buyers, such as the, the demanding retailers. And we have a facility now which we can build on that and grow it. So it's, uh, it's good. That, definitely, this is a fantastic uh, faci facilities, and we welcome this investment very much. Now you have top facilities to to handle the, the products and, and, and keep the maximize the quality. Uh, so the chain from from the catch in Iceland or elsewhere through this market to the customer is is, is very well uh, taken care of with this uh, modern uh, fantastic facilities. I think it shows a very powerful signal um, as part of our bilateral relationship between the UK and Iceland um, that, that fish and, and Humberside uh, remain at the absolute heart. Um, they have, all, of course, always been in, a, in, in, in many ways, and I think this, this demonstrates a new confidence and a new dimension to the relationship. We depend heavily on Icelandic fish. Uh, Icelandic catches coming through Grimsby are down 40 to 50% and that's bad for business. Uh, so we want to encourage the Icelanders to send more here uh, and to remove any restrictions that are on the trade of uh, Icelandic skippers sending their fish to Grimsby. But from the point of view of the wider interest of the fishing trade, this is a marvellous development because what it does is upgrades everything. When this fish stock was open 15 years ago now, it was very modern, it was ultra modern. In fact, it was ahead of the game. But since then, standards have improved, standards of hygiene particularly. So what we need now is what we've got, a chilled facility with four chambers through there. Uh, no longer open to the sea and all the winds and everything at this side. They blew through and it was very cold then, but uh, it's colder now. Uh, and much more hygienic, cleaner, more straightforward. Uh, so that the, the trade, the supermarkets who come here to, and the merchants who come here to buy can be confident of a quality product. That's the name of the game, to stay ahead of the rest and provide still the best fish market in this country. We've gone a long way to achieve standards. Um, we will shortly be having the, the, the BRC, which is the British Retail Consortium standard for, for warehousing awarded to us. Um, all the work, the preparation has been put in place for that. We're just awaiting our date when the, uh, the, the official audit will be carried out. We're also delighted that, um, that the market has received uh, the accreditation for Marine Stewardship Council 
uh, fish to be actually landed here from vessels in the North Sea. Uh, so that in, in, in turn with what we're doing with, with Iceland, I think it, it endorses the credentials that we've already established to show that you know, if you're serious about seafood, you send it to Grimsby. Uh, it's all about quality today and, and uh, meeting the demands of the consumer and, and obviously uh, investment like this is, is, a, is an important one. If we, 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 as we do it in Iceland today, we send it by containers and then we have the quality really good because it's, we're selling it three to five days old when we sell it here. So we are getting quite good price here from 100%. Well, we recognise Iceland as a very important key trading partner, as they do for us. So it's important that we build the relationships and recognise the fact that they've got very good Icelandic fisheries management. Uh, we've got good facilities and what we've got in the UK is a big consumer base of people that eat fish. So the fish supply from Iceland should never be understated. It's a very important part of our operation. And particularly the Vestman Islands, which in itself has been a, a very important supplier of fish through Atlantic Fresh into Grimsby. And we've got good trading links, good relationships, and we look forward to working with them in the future. My hopes of the future is that we will, we will go on, we can perhaps have, have another phase of refurbishment, and that we will attract more fish and more customers, and we will further the relationship that we have. We've seen how this fantastic project has upgraded the facilities at Grimsby Fish Docks and what that means to both the fishermen and to the retailers and to the region in terms of their economy. And as Steve Norton said, if you're serious about fish, you're going to have to take it to Grimsby.